Hello my lovelies, welcome to my little cottage by the sea, the place where I love to stitch and craft my way to a vintage inspired and sustainable lifestyle. As you may know, I'm a seamstress and a pattern cutter by trade. I am often asked by people who love sewing how they can get started with pattern cutting because it seems like such a daunting and complicated thing to do. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my top tips on how to start pattern drafting and how to make your own sewing pattern. Just a little bit of context before I jump in and share my top tips with you. I started pattern cutting when I started doing my fashion qualifications way, way, way back, many centuries ago now. And I have to tell you, I found it so difficult. I'd been sewing since I was six and I was au fait with sewing patterns and I saw pattern cutting as a means to an end. I didn't enjoy it, it didn't click with me. I have dyscalculia, which is number dyslexia, so I found it even harder, maybe, than somebody who is really good at the math. But at some point, and just by a little trick of fate, I fell into pattern cutting and everything clicked. So if I can do it with my dyscalculia and my initial loathing of, pattern drafting, completely understand why people find it intimidating, then I am absolutely sure that you can. So you may be watching this video because you are already committed to the idea of starting to pattern cut, draft your own sewing patterns. But I'm just going to tell you why I think you should. So being able to cut your own patterns means you can create almost anything that you want and it will fit you. You'll save money because you don't have to buy commercial or independent sewing patterns, which can be pretty spenny, I have to say. You'll get a fabulous fit much quicker than having to tweak a pattern and work out the ease and the sizing and all of that. Your initial block will fit you and you'll be able to make a few simple amendments. You might have to tweak a few bits, but most importantly, my lovelies, no more FBAs. Once you get a few basic skills under your belt, it will save you loads and loads of time. As I've just said, no more tweaking and hacking and fiddling and faffling with a commercial pattern and doing loads of twirls. You may have to do a little bit, but I can tell you it's a lot easier once you get to grips with these few simple starting techniques that are really easy to learn. Let's jump in to my top tips. You only need a few things to get pattern cutting and the first and the thing that has almost become one of my best friends is a pattern master. So I always think this looks like a Klingon weapon of war and I did have a student who was a cosplayer and he could speak Klingon and told me exactly how to say this but I have forgotten because things fall out of my ears these days. But basically, this is a pattern master. It has your French curve on it. It has a seam gauge on it and your right angles and so on. And you can buy these in all sorts of places, I'm sure. Mine is metric because I use centimetres, but you can get them in imperial and use inches. There will be some available near to where you are, but I'll link whatever I can, as always, in the little box below. The next thing you need is a nice sharp pencil. I usually recommend a 2H pencil, but recently I have been loving these Bic Evolution pencils because I pattern cut nearly every day and have done so for decades. My fingers are a little bit damaged and certain pens, pencils do hurt when I use them, but these are ergonomically designed. They've got a bit of flexibility and even though they're an HB lead, the lead remains nice and sharp even though I do actually need to sharpen all of these. And these are my favorite pencils to use for pattern drafting these days. A nice pair of sharp scissors. I like these lightweight Fiskars ones and never, ever, ever use them for fabric. Another very useful bit of kit that I use a lot, a tracing wheel, which you can buy easily enough in haberdashers and fabric stores. You can use any paper to start drafting your patterns on and I would recommend in the early days do start with something fairly cost effective, fairly cheap. 
the price of paper does seem to be rising. I use pattern drafting spot and cross paper like this. It has all your right angles and whilst it's quite thin and you can see through it for tracing and so on it also lasts a really long time i always like to call this an owl but actually it's an awl a w l just sort of like a bradle that carpenters use but this is a really useful bit of kit for pivoting and other techniques that are very useful to have under your belt when you're pattern drafting and you can mark through the top of darts and so on mine still has my name on it because i've had this since i was at universities about a million decades ago my next top tip is about the actual getting started with learning and there is no better way than getting yourself to an in real life class i teach an introduction to pattern cutting class evening class for grown-ups at my local college and there will be colleges near you wherever you are in the world that offers some kind of lesson, I'm sure. So get onto your local college's website and see if you can sign up for a class or two. And the lovely thing about that is the interaction with all the other people who are there. And I have to say, every year I think maybe I should stop teaching my evening class because I'm so busy with other things like filming things like this for you here on YouTube. I love it so much that I just simply can't retire from teaching my introduction to pattern cutting evening class at my local college, Hastings College, here in East Sussex. Of course there are loads of free resources for you here on YouTube and if you Google you'll probably find lots of classes and opportunities to learn and different people are going to resonate with you in a different way and you're going to find some people a lot easier to learn from than others. There are also platforms like Skillshare and Craftsy etc that offer lots of one-off programs that you can download and work through at your leisure and they seem like very good value for money I've not done them myself and you also have patreon there are people teaching you how to pattern cut like myself over on patreon and if you want to find me there you can go to patreon.com forward slash Tara Dayton I have a lovely little community there and basically we pattern cut and sew vintage inspired and couture inspired garments and I teach lots of sewing tips and tricks along the way I've shown my students how to draft their own bodice, skirt and sleeve blocks and also a couple of other useful blocks along the way and they're now drafting all their own clothes for their own wardrobes regardless of their style or aesthetic. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I really did not enjoy pattern cutting when I started out and it remains a surprise to me to this day that this is what I've done for a living for about 30 years now. A really useful thing to do is to get yourself a little set of these quarter scale blocks. These are ones that I've drafted and they are available in my shop which I'll link below. And you basically can practice all sorts of pattern drafting techniques and adaptations and modifications in a small size using really just little bits of paper so you're not committing to huge big things but you're learning the basic skills and alongside those you can get yourself some pattern cutting books i actually have a public access video on patreon which you can find if you head over there and it takes you through the pattern cutting books that I use and I really like. I learned to pattern cut using this Winifred Aldrich book, which is sort of a bit of a classic now, but actually this one here is my favorite and I'll write the details below so you can find these. But once you have your set of blocks that you draft to your own measurements that fit you, you then can make all sorts of things just by learning some simple, techniques. Another top tip is to start with a really simple garment to pattern cut. Starting with something really simple is I think the way to go because you do something simple and you do it well it helps you build confidence. You don't get dejected or despondent because you've done it wrong and it seems hard. It will be hard at the beginning but you have to practice and persevere and it will honestly become simpler and simpler and simpler. Remember when you couldn't sew 
and you just practiced and now you can. Now I absolutely am addicted to vintage sewing patterns and I do like the odd new pattern as well. There's something really lovely about getting the pattern and cutting out that tissue paper and getting all excited about making your dream garment for your beautiful wardrobe that suits your personal unique sense of style but almost every single time I find that I have to make so many amendments to a pattern and the vintage patterns never fit me anyway because I'm more of a plumptious gal. My students who come to my evening course always say to me I love sewing but nothing ever fits. Well once you have your own set of beautifully fitting blocks you will never ever have that problem because you will be able to see a lovely picture of something on Instagram or something you see in a shop or in a film or in a magazine or that lovely vintage illustration of a blouse that you'd love to make and you don't need to do anything except follow some simple steps to then create that exact garment but in your exact measurements. It really is an absolute joy to go through that process and the sense of fulfillment and satisfaction is immense. You can of course buy slopers from the pattern companies and I also did a video which I'll pop a card here about creating a bodice block using a commercial pattern that you might already have. I take you through how to do that and some fitting and so on. It's a very old video and it does make me laugh now re-watching it but there are some really useful information and it's kind of a happy medium if you're feeling really daunted about taking your measurements and drafting a block. It sort of eases you in gently and what we want is more pleasure than pain. So to summarise, being able to draft your own sewing patterns is an absolute game changer. It is a little bit tricky at the beginning but by getting some very simple resources going to a class or two, taking an online class or two, whether you pay for it or it's free, you will be well on your way to a journey of creating sewing patterns that will help you to make the wardrobe of your dreams. I really hope you've enjoyed this video sharing my top tips on how to start pattern drafting and how to start making your own sewing patterns. If you have any further questions about how to get started with drafting your own sewing patterns then do pop them in the comments below I'm more than happy to help you in any way if I possibly can and if you've enjoyed this video and you're not already a subscriber then I would really love it if you did subscribe because it really helps me to grow my channel and you help me to do what I really love to do more than anything else in the world which is basically sewing. I hope that wherever you are in the world my lovelies you're keeping very safe and well. Till next time, bye!